I don't love her, I don't love her, and I don't need her. Uh uh, I like to fuck her. That's good though, but I don't eat her. Never, never. She's my baby. She my baby though. When we get lit, we get lit, but she can't claim me. Don't claim me. Well, me and Lisa Ray both had the whole side eye. Like, what the <laughs> hell? Is he kidding me? Healing, healthy. This man was a, a, a hypocrite, in my honest opinion. He really was. I didn't find anything about him to be healing. He insulted uh, African American women on a consistent basis. Uh, one of his last statements that uh, he said was that if you're over 38 and you haven't married or something like that, that you're no good and disposable. Um, to me, he was a shock jock. And, you know, I, I hope this is teaching folks a lesson about the karma that you put out, the negativity that you put out in the world, that when karma comes knocking at your door, she might not be so kind. So, you know, the fact that he uh, killed over real quick and was uh, supposedly with a woman that we don't know, yet know the nationality, um, rest in peace. Curtis. Curtis is still saying your name. How do yes. you feel about that? Well, I, my phone started blowing up, and I was like, Lord, what would I do now? Uh -huh. You know? And uh, they said, yeah, Curtis uh, finally said something about the uh, about your movie. Yeah. And, I, you know, I took it as a compliment. I did. Uh -huh. I was like, that was his way of showing support. Thanks, uh -huh. boom. I know he still wanted me. <laughs> Curtis wrote that thing back. Curtis wrote that thing back. OK, so, but I know. Let me tell you this, and I don't know if y'all remember, because uh, y'all remember when, when 50 and, and, and Vivica was dating. Y'all were dating. 13 years ago. I want to thank Vivica Fox for wearing that dress, too. And I remember it was some kind of award ceremony. You was on stage, and you was you just, your body was popping. And and I remember, Curtis, like, he was in love with you, girl. Would you ever think about getting back together with Mr. Curtis Jackson if he came? Well, Ben and Jen did it again. Why not? Ah! My experience, and in my opinion, older men that are true, established alpha men, okay, they avoid older women because older women are broken. You have lived through too much, you have seen too much, you have experienced too much, you have been exposed to too much trauma that you carry those scars with you. You are a lot harder to mold. So finding a younger woman it's a lot easier for them to mold this woman into what they need. And it's crazy because sometimes you'll find a man that was like horrible throughout his youth. He used women, treated them badly or whatever the case may be. And then he just came to a point in his life in which he was like, I can't keep doing this. I want to settle down. I want a good woman. He's not going to go after the one that has gone through the trauma that he probably put her through. This is why you see some men, some older men would get divorced and they would marry a younger woman. And then that woman gets treated like a queen. You were the trial, he used you and abused you, and now he learned better. I feel like women require maintenance, not financial, but mental maintenance. Mm -hmm, we do. You know what I mean? On some level. So if, if that's that maintenance is being done properly, you can put them in a room with billionaires and it won't matter. Right. She'll be in there until she go, hold on, he might be hungry, I got to go. I got to go fix some meat for uh -huh. <laughs> that billion that billion dollars is connected to those people's lifestyle, but right. she will be loyal and consistent with that actual person if she's if that maintenance has been you know because it becomes a part of who she is in her life at that right. point. She's emotionally right. connected to it. Uh -huh. Look at the delusion of this woman. She's literally sitting telling herself that because Fifty said, "Man, why is this chick? Why won't this chick leave me alone?" Now she always trying to make movies like I make. What's wrong with her? Yeah, because you know she made a movie, man, that, that was real similar to um to BMF. And he was like, Man, damn, what this chick doing, man? Why don't she leave me alone, dog? I done moved on my life. Why she ain't moved on yet? This this don't make no sense, man. He was man, he was he was trying to sue him and everything, man. He was trying to do a cease and desist and everything, man. And she's sitting here talking about that's his way of showing support. This woman really believed that after all these years. I man, they did never touch her a couple of times in all the years since they broke up, man. 13 years ago, you saw how fast she called it out? Man, she been buying her time. That woman is caught up, man. Let me tell you something. When I see that boy 50, man, I got to dap him up, man. I say, look, boy, you know what time it is.
You know what time it is, because that thing you got with Vivica, man, boy, I done had that thing a couple times, man, where 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line, man, they still on the same thing, man. So, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, brothers, and this real talk. Here's a woman who had an opportunity for the man that she wanted, and she can't get over the fact that she couldn't, she couldn't follow through with the deal. But here's the thing. 50 was young, getting money. And she came on too strong. She was trying to settle down. She was older. She was trying to settle down. That young man just got to the money. Just got to legit money, man. He wasn't trying to do that. And now here she sits with her delusion. Listen no. what she says. Listen. We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Seriously. Is it too... Do you want me to... Listen. We haven't been able to see my godson for two years. Now I want y'all to understand the illogic, the confusion and delusion of a woman sitting up here crying over her damn godson. Not her son, not her nephew, not her niece, not her adopted child, not her little brother, her damn godson. Boy, let me tell you something. Here's a woman that's so bent out of shape that she never got a man and a child that she is hurt, homie. Like, she is, this, the, the heaviest burden in her life is that she don't have a child. Now, she gonna sit here and tear somebody down and call them a narcissist because they don't want her around their child. I miss so much dealing with someone just like this. And it was the one way to hurt me. And Lisa Ray knows exactly who I'm talking about. Um, and I wish these people knew that through their lying and self-serving, selfish ways, how hurtful it can be. Now, you know what? She wasn't doing all this when she was sitting there laughing about Miss Samuel's son dying, was she? Now she wants some sympathy, sitting up there looking long-faced about a godson. See, people got to watch what they say. You got to watch who you hate on. You got to watch what you do. Because now she's sitting here looking real crazy. Crying over her godson. I am a very strong person. And I give a lot. And people have to understand when you gaslight and you do it to manipulate. And if it involves children, how unfair. It is. You know, sometimes a woman doesn't understand the changes in her life and she'll believe that she still has a type of value that she doesn't have anymore. And one such example is Vivica A. Fox. Now, we understand that this woman has had a stalkerish relationship with 50 Cent, a.k.a. Curtis Jackson, who is transitioning into a new Hollywood aspect of his career from where he was when those two were dating 13 years ago. And I know 13 years ago because she keeps up with it, as you can see. When you ask yourself why this woman believes that she has this type of connection where it's possible for her and 50 to be, a be, to be together again by comparing those two to Ben Affleck and J-Lo, the difference is Ben Affleck is her in the scenario. He's the one who's always chased J-Lo. He's the one who always wanted the girl who got away. He's the one who was with the woman twice. He's the one who's with the woman now and is miserable while he's being with her. But he doesn't care about being miserable. He just cares about being with the woman. He would rather be miserable with her than miserable without her. 50 doesn't feel the same way for Vivica. When you look at who 50 has now, Cuban Link, night and day difference from what Vivica is now. She is now what Vivica was then. So for this woman to believe that anything would transpire between her and 50 is just ludicrous, man. It is absolutely ludicrous. When she was younger and more dynamic and more full of youthful exuberance with less plastic surgery, he still didn't want her. Might have knocked off a couple of times, had her in a video, man. Like, had her in a video, man, looking like just made a straight fool out of her. And now 
that she's become this bitter older woman who laughs when men pass, a la Kevin Samuel's death, who constantly berates men for the things that they do, the choices that they make, who has stood against icons like Ice Cube, who is obviously more wise and you know, better suited to lead any conversation than she is. You must understand that when a woman is at this point in her life, the delusion sets in to offset the reality. And even when 50 spoke about the movie that she's doing, that's that's obviously a ripoff of BMF. He didn't say it with any love. There was no congratulations in that. He was pretty much like, damn, why don't this woman move on with her life? Like the woman can't leave me alone. She's trying to mimic what I do in Hollywood now. But look at how delusional she is, how she takes that as a compliment. See, I keep telling you, man, Women live in a fantasy world where whatever you say, she'll make it mean whatever she wants it to mean. And the problem is you can't convince her it means otherwise. So don't even try. Let a woman do whatever she needs to do to herself emotionally and psychologically by believing shit is not even true if that's what she wants to do. See, that's not your responsibility. You don't have to worry about a woman doing that. You let the woman do what she wants to do. If that's how she wants to live her life, let her live her life that way. The reality of the scenario is this. A woman always wants what she couldn't have. It may be a man from her past that she wishes she could still be with. Or it may be the scenario that she always wanted with the man she's been with and never got. And now she sees that she can have that with you. The problem is whatever scars come with that are going to come into the scenario. So she's not going to be able to hold up her end of the bargain. What end of the bargain could Vivica hold up right now? When 50 is completely out of options, if he's ever completely out of options, maybe he'll go back to her because he can. But if he keeps on the path he's on, he just won't be out of options. He has a pretty long term relationship with Cuban Link right now. There's been, you know, footage of her or images of her being spotted with a, with a ring on her finger. Maybe he's popped the question. I don't know. He seems to be at least thinking about marriage right now, even though he hasn't, you know, gone as far as saying, hey, I'll do that. I'll marry. He hadn't gone that far, but he seems to be at least thinking about it. But I guarantee it won't be with Vivica. See, a woman believes that she can put all this negative energy out into the world, all this negative energy out into relationships, all these negative energy out against men, and then suddenly believe that she's going to get the fairy tale ending. I would be willing to bet, and I'm not a better, quite a bit of money that Vivica wouldn't even have a chance to get smashed, man. She's not even smashable anymore. You understand? So this mindset that she's in is just an example of the delusion that overtakes a woman when she's on the other side of the wall because she does. First of all, they don't believe there's a wall. So when they hit the wall, they still don't believe they hit the wall. But when they realize they hit the wall, they're on the other side of the wall by then where they have to accept that they've hit the wall. And at that point, They've been so delusional about the wall existing in the first place that they just can't allow themselves to accept it at this point. It's too late. They don't want to accept it at that point. Too much time has passed to be worrying about a wall at that point. So I tell you, men, when you think about this woman and what she's represented over all of these years, even her time in Hollywood, you know, she was always this, well, I run things, I'm in control of things. But when you see her in real life, man, she ain't in control of nothing. She's in control of absolutely nothing. Can't get a man, can't keep a man. And now she's at the point where she's starting to accept that she needs a man. Because I'm going to be honest with you. The only women out here bragging about being a cat lady is younger women who ain't got no goddamn cash yet. It's younger women who don't have no damn cash yet. I have yet to see a woman who is older with those cats bragging about being happy without looking like she's lost her mind, like the late, great Eartha Kid. I'm going to tell y'all, man, don't worry about trying to save her. Don't worry about trying to convince her that the wall is coming. She doesn't believe it. Let her ass keep going in life. And when she hits the wall, let's grab her some popcorn. Because seeing a woman who thought she was the shit, seeing a woman who thought she was the shit hit the wall, is must-see TV.
I don't know, man. Maybe I'm being too hard on Vivica, man. Maybe I'm being too hard on these women when they smash into the wall and get on the other side of it, man. Maybe I'm exhibiting a little bit of toxic masculinity. Maybe I'm exhibiting a little bit of toxic masculinity. I don't think so. Just let me know what you think in the comments. But I don't know, man. Maybe I'm being a little bit too hard on Vivica. Maybe I'm being too a little bit hard on these women when they hit the wall, man, and they had this delusion, man. Maybe I'm exhibiting a little bit of toxic masculinity. I don't think so. But y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Peace.